first RTX 4060 gaming benchmarks have leaked. So let's have a look at what kind of performance we should expect from the upcoming mid-range replacement for the RTX 3060, which actually may still be a better choice because it has more memory. In this video, we are going to compare the RTX 4060 to the RTX 3060, RX 7600, as well as a number of other graphics cards in the same price category. But first, CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommended. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. Let's start with a quick recap of the RTX 4060 specifications, release date and price. The RTX 4060 uses the smallest 5nm GPU chip NVIDIA has designed in the Ada Lovelace family, AD107. The chip size is just 156 square millimeters. For comparison, the RTX 3050 8nm chip is 44% smaller at 276 square millimeters. Bear in mind that we are comparing the size of the mid-range RTX 4060 GPU to the cheapest RTX 30 series GPU. Now let's move on to the rest of the specifications. The RTX 4060 features 3072 CUDA cores, 8GB of memory and 128-bit bus for a total of 272GB per second bandwidth. TDP is 115 watts. Looking at the specifications, it is quite clear that the RTX 4060 is a massive downgrade on all fronts compared to its predecessor, the RTX 3060, which has more CUDA cores and more memory. 8GB of memory is already not enough to run some of the latest AAA games using the highest quality settings even at 1080p resolution. In the coming years, we will see more and more games launch where you will be forced to reduce texture quality to medium or even low on an 8GB graphics card. Bear this in mind when we compare the RTX 4060 to 3060 in benchmarks. The RTX 4060 reviews will go live on June 28th, and you will be able to buy the graphics card on June 29th. Some retailers have already listed the RTX 4060 starting at $299.99, with nicer models priced at $330. By the way, its competitor, the Radeon RX 7600, has received a discount ahead of the RTX 4060 launch, and can now be found for as low as $250. You can find the RX 7600 as well as other graphics cards at the links in the description below if you are interested. It is time to discuss the performance. Videocards.com leaked 3 Mark benchmark results provided by anonymous reviewers who have access to the RTX 4060 product samples. First up are 3 Mark Speedway and Port Royale benchmarks that are designed to measure ray tracing performance. In Speedway, the RTX 4060 is 17% faster than the 12GB RTX 3060 and 29% faster than the RX 7600. In Port Royale, the RTX 4060 is 17% better than the 3060 and 10% faster than the RX 7600. These are interesting results, but I doubt that any of us will be cranking up the ray tracing effects on any of these graphics cards. Rasterization performance benchmarks are much more relevant for this class of graphics cards, and that is exactly what TimeSpy DirectX 12 benchmark provides. Surprisingly, the RTX 4060 is 30% faster than the 3060 at 1440p in this test. The RX 7600 is just 5% slower than the 4060. 4K results are useless because this GPU is not built to run games at 4K resolution. Even 1440p is a stretch for the RTX 4060 if we are talking about the latest AAA games. The Fire Strike benchmark represents older DirectX 11 games. At 1080p resolution, the RTX 4060 is 20% faster than the RTX 3060 and 15% slower than the RX 7600. 
The RX 7600 is significantly stronger than the RTX 4060 in 1440p and 4K tests as well in this particular benchmark. Potentially this result is bad news for the RTX 4060 when it comes to playing older games. Make sure to check the reviews that feature the games you intend to play before buying the RTX 4060. It is time for some final thoughts. I think that the RTX 4060 is a pathetic product even at $300. Judging by the size of the chip, this graphics card should have been called RTX 4050 at best. Unfortunately, with this generation, Nvidia is hell-bent on trying to sell us what is effectively a lower-tier graphics card for the price of a higher-tier one. You can see it in every RTX 40 series product all the way up to the RTX 4080. The RTX 4090 is the only reasonable offering in this entire generation. On the bright side, I am happy to see that most people refuse to take Nvidia's bait. Nvidia is already forced to drop prices a little bit on some of the RTX 40 series cards. But the company is still very stubborn and seems to be prepared to wait longer. The insane demand for GPUs from the AI industry is bailing them out so far, but it will not last forever. So if we are patient, then we will get better prices and products eventually. Yeah, maybe the RTX 40 generation is already lost and we should just wait it out until the RTX 50 series launches later next year. Because honestly, I can't recommend any mid-range graphics cards that are on the market right now. All the options look bad. If you absolutely have to buy a graphics card for around $300 this year, then basically you are forced to pick the best out of the bad options. If I were in the market for one, I'd go for either the RX 7600, 6650 XT or the RTX 3060 with 12GB of memory. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then reward it with a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.